Protesters are taking to the streets in France today, calling for salary increases and for President Emmanuel Macron to drop his plan to raise the retirement age. That's not going to happen. Last month, Macron signed a law to raise retirement age from 62 to 64. And, and, and these rioters have, have, have just gone completely nuts in the streets of, of, of Paris and across the country because he's trying to raise the retirement age, or he has now, to 64. Let's go right now to a very rainy Paris. We have NBC News chief foreign correspondent Richard Engel. Richard, uh, so sorry to have you outside in the weather. Uh, what's the very latest from Paris? Thanks a lot. <laughs> So uh, just a few minutes ago, it didn't look anything like this. There were many, many more people here, but we just heard some thunder, some lightning, and some clouds rolled in. So the demonstrators, if you look around, are all huddled under trees, under some of the concession stands. I'll just get a little bit wet here. Uh, what is happening is a million people across this country, in Paris and in other cities nationwide, are taking to the streets today because of the retirement age. Uh, the retirement age, two weeks ago changed. It used to be 62. Uh, President Macron forced it through in a controversial move that was approved by France's equivalent of the uh, of the Supreme Court to 64. By way of contrast, it's 67 in the United States. So 64 uh, is still one of the lowest all across Europe. And it's not implemented yet, and that is what the demonstrators are trying to do. Stay dry right now and prevent this law from being implemented. There's talk about it being implemented in the fall. Uh, it's expected that uh, on July 14th, Macron is going to announce a date when it will be implemented. So what the protesters are trying to do to stop the implementation is cause chaos in the streets, disrupt life in this country, and they do have quite a few ways of doing that. The unions are behind them. So uh, the unions, particularly the power union that controls electricity here, is talking about cutting off electricity to the uh, Cannes Film Festival in two weeks, cutting off electricity to the, uh, the French Open in about a month's time, and also cutting access to construction sites for the uh, remaining Olympic venues that still need to be finished before the 2024 Olympic Games. Uh, so uh, quite a few things they can do. Also, air traffic controllers are on strike. So a lot of flights have been disrupted here. Maybe it's so letting up a little bit. We'll see. Richard, kind of zoom out and kind of go to Tocqueville for us on this, because I'm sure a lot of Americans are listening to this and thinking, you know, what's the beef going from 62 to 64? 64 still sounds like an incredibly young age to retire. But what does it say about the French sense of identity and their relationship with work compared to Americans' relationship with work, perhaps, that they are prepared to try and bring the country to a standstill over two years' worth of retirement? So what they fear is that this is a slippery slope. And in France, there is a national philosophy, a national mantra about the work-life balance. And they fear that that work-life balance is at risk, that if they give in now, that soon they'll all be working until their end of days. They'll become machines to a system. And they want, uh, they want to prevent that. And they think that there's enough wealth in this country, enough wealthy companies, enough wealthy individuals individuals that they should pay so that uh, th that the burden isn't passed on to, uh, to to working people in this country. But that work-life balance and its uh, almost sacred position in French society uh, is what people here are, are, are concerned about losing. All right. NBC's Richard Engel, the sun is coming out. All right. Good for you. Thank you so much for Maybe being with us. Look, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Not a problem. All right. Until next time. Thanks so much for being with us, Richard. As always, we greatly appreciate it. And Caddy, I, I just, you know what I'm going to say here. I keep going back to it. In 2009, when Newsweek had a title covered that said, we are all socialists now, you came on the show and mocked all of us saying that we were moving towards socialism. You said, you Americans would be such terrible socialists. And this story, this story really paints it because the more... I read about longevity because, you know, I'm an old guy. Uh, it says the same thing. Never retire. Don't retire. Keep mm -hmm. your mind active. Keep your body active. Keep moving forward. It is that is an American mindset. But my goodness, completely different in France.
Yeah, Joe, you, I'm, I'm not sure you would make the very best of Frenchmen. Um, <laughs> look, you know, it is a very different attitude. There is this sense in France that the relationship is that you work, but you you definitely you work to live, and living is retirement. They embrace the idea of what happens after you're 62, or what will now be after 64, and that is the pinnacle of life, and it's what everybody in France looks forwards to. It's an important it's an important part of life. They they travel, they get involved in their communities, they're active, but they are not working. They don't hold work up on this pedestal in the way that, um, it, you know, in the way that this country does, yeah. but actually increasingly the way that the United Kingdom does as well. It's just a very different attitude. And that's why they're prepared to go out in the streets, even in the pouring rain, and try and bring the country to a standstill. Because, as Richard said, it's, it's about more than this just two years. It's about an attitude to life and an attitude to work that is quintessentially not an American attitude, not just no, Gulf's uh, attitude. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 no not, not an American attitude, as you said, increasingly not a British attitude. Also, uh, not an attitude in China. You talk to people that go over right. to China, they, they talk about how people there live to work. And no, just yeah. not just because you're going to the gulags, there's just this intensity among uh, the people who are working there. Just